What's up, everybody? Today we are going to check out Drum Fury from Sample Logic. Uh, I've written a little demo here that showcases the cymbals, the impacts, uh, the world percussion, and then the kind of epic taikos, the epic drum ensembles. Let's check it out. Let's take a quick look at the interface first. Now we have a few different controls here. It's very simple, um, but as you saw earlier, we have different uh, NKI files for each of the instruments. So there are a ton to choose from, even different mic positions and everything from hall and stage and dry. So keep that in mind. If you can't find any mic positions here, it's all going to be here in your um, NKI files in the instrument section. So you can click each of those and get the drum sound. And then also we have the energizer and the polisher. Um, those are kind of unique to this library. We have an equalizer, compressor, delay, and reverb, uh, filters, low cut, high cut, and attack and release. That's kind of standard for all different types of libraries. But let's take a look at the energizer and the polisher. I'm going to play something real quick and you'll hear what it sounds like just on its own. And then I'm going to turn up these two controls individually and then both at the same time. And you'll hear how it really changes the sound and gets a more processed hybrid sound. All right, so let's check out this instrument. There are so many different instruments here in this library, um, from cymbals and concert bass drums to uh, marching snares and marching drums, gongs, impacts, which are great for trailers. Um, so, you know, different types of taikos, different toms, solo ensemble. There's a huge amount of stuff. So let's just go in and kind of listen to the uh, instruments individually or at least in groups. So let's start with the cymbals here um, and some bells which are kind of tuned bells like this. Which if you can't tell I've added delay on to give it a, uh, a nice delayed ambience. So let's check it out here. We've got the natural cymbals with the bells and then some impacts I will turn on towards the end. So you hear that kind of uh, process sound here. Uh, it sounds very cool and it's a nice transition and I use it as a stinger here.
that along with the impacts uh, are you know are really great for modern trailer music as well as all the different acoustic uh, percussion and the details you have here so it's good for a very wide variety of music let's go down and check out the world percussion here uh, we have a ton of different instruments I really like these a lot they're so detailed I wanted to kind of show the variety here. Now let's move on to the different taikos and toms. I'll isolate each one of those as well. Uh, remember there's taiko ensembles and then solo taikos as well. So while this last section is more of a demonstration of the epic music, um, remember you have detailed taikos and toms, and solo instruments as well. So let's check these out. So with those three taiko instruments, you can hear how one has, you know, a lot of smack uh, to it, a lot of attack. One has a more clicky sound, and then one has a more distant sound. So combining them all together gives you this really epic ensemble. And then finally we have the toms, which added with the taikos give you this really nice thick sound. And then you can go one step further, adding in the world percussion for a bit more detail on those epic ensembles. And then, of course, adding in the cymbals, impacts, and everything. You get a really nice drum sound. <laughs> 